everyone, welcome back to Chicken Cindy's, and we're going to talk about some of the very first upgrades that I'd recommend to do on any bike, but I will be doing it specifically to my XR Pro. So as you can see, my uh, wonderful Mongoose XR Pro looks kind of disheveled right now. <laughs> so I have it ready to go for the upgrades to go on. Uh, if you have not already watched my first ride on this bad boy, I'll put a little link to it in the corner for you, so feel free to check that out. But if you look at it right now, there might be a, a couple things that look not stock, wink, wink, but there will be other videos on that. But today what I wanted to discuss was what I would recommend anybody to do on any new mountain bike. Now this is a bike that's going to be even a budget bike. This is going to be a bike that's a, a very nice expensive bike. It doesn't matter. And the very first things that I would tell anybody to upgrade are contact points. Now, Joshua, what are contact points? I'm really glad you asked, let me tell you. Contact points are points where you touch. Handlebar grips, saddle, and pedals. All of those are contact points, places where you put your arms, they change the way things kind of reach to you and that kind of thing. Also a stem is a form of contact point. I should have mentioned that as well because you can get a bike such as the XR Pro that has a like a 90 millimeter zoom stem. I think it's 90 millimeters. Hang on. Say it's obnoxious. Check that bad boy out. So this is the stock stem on the, R, the XR Pro. And this is the stem I'm going to. Pretty significant difference. So, one of the best things about contact points are the fact, or is the fact, contact points can be moved from bike to bike. So bikes are going to come with whatever components they come with, such as stem length, handlebar rise, handlebar width, that kind of stuff, what type of grips they come with, what kind of pedals they come with. Typically, most bikes come with just plastic, very cheap, generic pedals. And those aren't very good to ride on, especially if you're going to take them on the trail. So, I'm going to go over all the contact points that I'm actually upgrading. And I want to go into just a little detail over why I chose them and that kind of a thing. So, we'll start with the stem. So, as you can see, I have a very cool JG bike stem. Got this off of Amazon. It was right at $10. And in my opinion, for this being only $10... This is definitely a better stem than a wake stem. 100% opinion. If you like the way wake stems look better than this one, definitely get a wake stem instead. But wake stems and this JG bike stem are definitely some of the best bang for buck bike stems in my opinion. You're talking $10 for a very nice stem that's going to go from a 90mm stem to a 35mm stem. I think that is awesome. So the next upgrade I am going to install are these nuke proof neutron handlebars these were the stock handlebars that were actually on my vitus mythique but these are 760 millimeters wide and as you can see they have this sort of up sweep so these are the style handlebars i like these were the stock handlebars from the xr pro very very straight cross country style a little bit of the up sweep but you can tell Pretty significant difference between the two different, and you can see the length is quite a bit longer as well. So, I just really like up sweep handlebars. I like 760 to 70, 780 millimeter width, 100% personal preference there. And you may love the actual handlebars that come stock on the XR Pro, and you may absolutely love the handlebars that come stock on whatever other bike you have. So this is just another form of contact point that you can't upgrade if you'd like to. We have the stem, we have the handlebars, and now we have the ODI Ruffians. So, I originally was looking at these because I'm going with the black and silver. These were $30, but I didn't want to spend $30 on them, and they went on sale for $20 on Amazon. So I was pretty okay with that price because I could not find any cheaper grips with the actual clamp style that were silver. And I'm actually a huge fan of ODI. So 
I was okay with spending that price for these. I am more of a guy that likes grippy handlebar grips. And ODI typically have a very grippy style material on the grip itself. But I cannot say these specific ODIs are budget friendly. But again, these are just what I prefer to use. The next two items we're going to change is I'm gonna upgrade the saddle to a Nuke Proof Neutron saddle. This also came off my Vitus Pathy. And I got a very cool wolf tooth seat post clamp. This one is obviously not an actual contact point or upgrade, but if I'm gonna be dealing with this, might as well change that quick release to this one. So the last little upgrade I'm gonna to do today are these nice aluminum pedals. So they say ANSJS on them. They say three bearings. Some of the reviews said they only actually have two bearings instead of three bearings, but what I do know is they're nicely machined, they feel good, and they do spin really nice as well. So, they were about $20 on Amazon. Make sure you look at the pedals before you buy them if you're buying them on Amazon. So for me specifically, I've mentioned this before, but I really like the style with screws. So as you can see, these have actual screws, all of them. There are some that are just studs that don't have the little ridges like a screw does. So I ride in 510 shoes and these screws grip really, really well in the bottom of my 510 shoes. So any type of pedal that have those screws are typically pedals that I like to get. So if you're riding in just tennis shoes, anything like that, you'll probably want to stay away from these kinds of pedals because these pins will tear the bottom of your shoes up very, very badly. So, I really like aluminum pedals, I really like these screws, and I really like the fact that they were $20. So that is why I went with these nice pedals. So, these are the very first upgrades I would recommend you to do to any bike. Grips, pedals, saddle. Those are your main contact points. From there, the handlebars and the stem are also very good things to upgrade for your personal taste. If those areas are not what you like, you're probably not gonna enjoy your ride very much. So that's why I say to start there. Drive train and all that is typically preference. A three by eight may not be a one by 12 like you want, but a three by eight is going to work absolutely perfect and you shouldn't have any issues with it. But with contact points and that kind of a situation, if you don't like it, you have to change it. So that is why I do recommend to start with contact points as a preference and when you're upgrading any form of bike. Well, this Mongoose XR Pro is really coming along nicely. I got some really cool things in store. As mentioned, I'm sure you see two specific things on this bike that I have changed that I did not talk about in this video, but I have a very, spe a very special video coming up to discuss those two things. So. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. But as usual, thank you so, so very much for tuning in. And until next time, take care.